హలో ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ కొడ్లాడి సురేంద్ర శెట్టి కన్సల్టెంట్ స్పైన్ సర్జన్ స్పైన్ కేర్ అండ్ ఆర్థో కేర్ హాస్పిటల్ మాగ్డీ రోడ్ రాజాజీ నగర్ బెంగళూరు వెన్ దర్ ఈస్ ఎ ప్రెషర్ ఆన్ ద స్పైనల్ కార్డ్ ఆర్ ద స్పైనల్ రూట్స్ ద స్పైనల్ కార్డ్ ఈస్ అప్ టు ద లెవెల్ ఆఫ్ ఎల్ వన్ అండ్ బిలో దాట్ దెర్ విల్ బి స్పైనల్ రూట్స్ వెర్ ఎవర్ దర్ ఈస్ ఎ ప్రెషర్ ఆన్ ద స్పైనల్ కార్డ్ so there can be irregularity of the micturition or the urinary problem suppose that there is a sudden disc prolapse around the lower spinal column that is in the spinal root level below the l1 there will be final roots so if there is a sudden disc prolapse and there is a too much of compression the sudden compression then there can be paralysis of the bladder there can be paralysis of the bladder there can be paralysis of the bowel that means there will be difficulty in micturition and difficulty in defecation also along with the weakness of the lower limb so this has to be treated on an emergency basis yeah when there is sudden disc prolapse at l3 4 or l4 5 level the disc comes out and presses upon the spinal nerve roots then there will be paralysis of the roots that leads to the weakness of the lower limb weakness of the bladder and weakness of the bowel so there will be difficulty in passing urine properly so this is called coda equina syndrome that is like coda equina means the tail of the horse that means the spinal cord in the lower level looks like a horse tail so when there is a pressure on that so we get all these symptoms so that is called coda equina syndrome coda equina syndrome is an emergency it has to be treated immediately and the treatment is usually surgery so when there is a pressure on the cord it has to be released within 4 hours if you don't release within that particular time there will be permanent damage for the roots and the micturition may be a problem for life long so that has to be operated immediately and the either we have to do fusion surgery or decompression surgery depending upon the other findings